For today's lesson, we're going to look at how to create a basic mug with a handle using SketchUp for schools. The first thing you'll want to do after opening SketchUp is to make sure you go to the top and select your name. Make sure that you label this as basic mug. Select a folder in your Google Drive to save this file for a later date. Once your file is saved, we can then begin creating our mug. The first thing we'll want to do is to create a top-down approach by going to our views and selecting the top of the house. That will give us a top-down view of our platform. From here, we are going to go ahead and select and create a circle that has a radius of one and a half inches. So we'll select the rectangle tool and from there we will find our circle and we'll place our circle on our zero zero origin. From here we will drag it out and in the bottom right hand corner you will see we will change the radius to one and a half inches. Select enter to lock that in place. Once you have created your circle you'll want to hit the selection tool and zoom in so that we can see our circle. From here we can go ahead and select Mike and delete him from our project. Now, in order to extrude this, the first thing we'll want to go ahead and do is zoom in a little further so that we can see the platform or the base of our mug. From here, we are going to want to go ahead and use our push-pull to give this a height of three inches. So we'll select our push-pull, select our circle, and move upwards to pull the shape up. From here, we'll add a distance of three inches, enter, and now you have the basic constraint of your mug. In order to get the center hollowed out, we are going to go ahead and use an offset tool. This will offset the outer rim to give us a wall thickness of a quarter of an inch. So from here, you'll select your tools to find offset. Under push-pull, you'll see push-pull, you'll see follow me, and offset. Select your offset tool, and then select the top of the mug. Click once and then drag the mouse inwards to see the second circle. By seeing that inner circle, we can now go ahead and give that a distance of 0.25 or one fourth of an inch. Enter. From there, you will see now we can look at our outer wall thickness of our mug. We will then need to go ahead and hollow the mug out by using our push pull. Again, select the offset, find your push pull and click on the inner circle. Drag your mouse down, and we will actually push the material towards the bottom. Now we will want to have a little space on the bottom of our mug, so we're only going to push this down 2.75 inches. Enter. From here, you can use your selection tool or your orbit to orbit around to see your mug. Now in order to create the handle, we'll have to take a little bit of a different approach. We're going to find the front view of our house. So as you can see, we have our left, our top, our right. So you'll want to find that front view to select. From here, we're going to go ahead and use the line tool to give us a profile or construction lines that we'll delete later. So after selecting the line, I want to make sure I go to the top of my blue axis and I'm going to go ahead and click once and I'm going to move the mouse out along the red axis. We're going to give this a dimension of two inches. Enter. From here, we'll follow down along the blue axis to create another line of 0.75. Enter. One more time, we will go back on the red axis to create another line that is 0.25 inches. This is going to give us a point that we can actually work off to create the actual handle itself. So I'm going to select the selection tool so that I can orbit my shape around and we can see that we now have those construction lines. Those construction lines are going to be used to help create the handle. From here we're going to create another circle. Using my circle tool, I'm going to go ahead and find the end point of my actual line that we had just created. Now, if your circle is not on the correct plane, you can use your right, left, or up and down arrows on the keyboard to make sure they are on the correct plane. We want to make sure that our circle is on the red axis. We're going to select once along the end point and drag the mouse outwards. From here, we are going to give this a radius of 0.25 inches. Enter. Now that you have your circle, 
we can see that we have a starting point to use to create the actual mug handle. The next thing I'll want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to find my arc tool. From here, we are looking at a two point arc. And when I have my two point arc, what I want to do is click the end point again of that circle. I'm going to go straight down. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a distance of, or a length, of 2.25 inches. Enter. Once I have my 2.25 inches, I still need to give it its bulge or radius. So I'm going to go out along that red axis and give that bulge a dimension of 1.3125. Enter. We now have our mug handle. We need to give it a little bit more of a dimension or a solid shape to it. So we're going to use this profile to help build our handle. In my tool palette, I'm going to look for a tool called Follow Me. And if we take a look, we can see that we have several different options that we can use here. Along the Move tool, you have a Scale, the Measurement tool. Okay, we have our Circle, which gives me my text, my Arcs, my Pencil. So we want to find one that says Follow Me. So if we start at the bottom, we can kind of scroll, uh, scroll up here. You can see you have your hand and your orbit. And down here, once we get to our tape measure, a lot of different ones. And we're going to go ahead and find it right under the push-pull tool. Once you select Follow Me, what you'll want to do is select your circle by clicking, move the mouse around and follow the red axis, until we get to that final end point where you will want to click. Now that you have clicked your handle, we are going to use the selection tool and we are going to go ahead and delete those construction lines we made previously. From here, we're going to look at the front of our view and we're going to go ahead and select by triple clicking our handle and we're going to want to use the move tool by clicking once on the handle I can move my handle down, click, I'm going to click on it again, and move it in, just until it disappears. You don't want to go too far where it goes through the inside of your mug. Once you have it positioned correctly, you can use the selection tool again to delete that inner arc line. From here, the last thing we'll need to do is go ahead and paint our actual shape. You can see there we have our mug with our handle. Give it a color. Give us a nice orangish color. And maybe we can go back and let's triple click on the handle. Maybe paint the handle black. And there you go. You have your basic mug with a uh, handle assembly.